Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Seven Days a Skeptic. In the last episode I got terribly interrupted by my recording cutting off, although it did turn out to be a good recording so I ended up keeping it. So in the last episode we got done with day one and I was trying to explain that as we go through the days, the episodes, it's just going to be one day per episode so I plan on only having seven episodes but I'm gonna see what happens because the last episode was 25 minutes and I don't really want it to exceed that but it might as I have a limit of 45 now I set it for 45 and I won't do an episode more than 45 minutes let's get going here oh okay let's talk to this guy Adam John why aren't the engines running it's probably a temporary power outage. Probably? You mean you don't know for sure? I just woke up and it was like this. Now I'm just waiting for the emergency systems to kick in. Where's everyone else? How should I know? They could be still be in bed on other decks. It's not like they have to explain all their movements to me. Sorry. I'm worried, Adam. Just relax, okay? We just need to wait for the power to come back on. Why don't you sit down and have a little breakfast? <sighs> I'll see you later. Sure. I know... Oh, we didn't really look around my room. I want to do that before we actually have some breakfast. This was my room, so let's go in here. I think this was here. Or was this my room? Let's look at the flags, the door, look at the flags, camera. Yes. Use our key card. Ooh. There's wrenches on the on the desk, so that might that might be useful. So later in the game. Neither of us use this desk, but there's one in everyone's quarters. What about this couch? It was here when we moved in. It requires a key card. Well, put your key card in. Move out of the way. So in my old psychology textbooks I would refer to them every now and then. Alright, let's take them with us. I've already read them all a hundred Oh my. Then why why do you for if you've read them hundreds of times you should know that there's nothing in them. Alright, let's see if this guy's home. Nobody home. Alright. Whoever in here, let's see if they home. Nobody home. Alright, let's go back in here. Because apparently power's out. I'm guessing this is how I get breakfast. Well, I actually, I know this is how we get breakfast, but... I'm playing the part. I'm playing the part, man. I'm playing the part. The dispenser is currently set for breakfast. What should I have? Yeah, sure. You know, I like continental breakfast. Get a continental breakfast. And let's let's go eat it by by this guy. Sit at the counter. <laughs> He's eating. He looks funny. Oh my. Yum 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 yum. I hate the butter they serve with these things, so I won't eat it. All right. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> put the butter in our inventory. Wow, I forgot about that. All right. Let's look at the uh, elevator. Doesn't appear to be working. Well, all right. Let's go talk to dude about that. <laughs> Pretend you didn't suggest that. Okay. Adam, John. The elevator is not working. Yes, I know. I can't work on, on it if the doors won't open. The maintenance panel is on the inside. That's that's just a, a, a why. But okay, we're not going to discuss that. What about the elevator shaft? I mean, you're they're portis. Hey, you wouldn't be trying to tell me how to do my job, would you? 
No, I. If there's a problem in the shaft, I'd know. We have alarm systems, fail safes, that sort of thing. Could you check all the same? You know your problem, John? You're too uptight. There's nothing but a little temporary power outage. It'll all be working again in ten minutes. I'll see you later. This guy's making me mad. Like, apparently the space con cr frickin' contractor in this place doesn't know how to do anything, so I'm gonna go and do m myself. Because why is the frickin' hatch, the frickin' maintenance hatch, inside the elevator? That's just... What are you doing? I'm going into the maintenance shaft to see what's wrong with the elevator. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it will. Because I guarantee you the space contractor didn't frickin' de I guarantee you that wasn't the architect's design. I guarantee you that was the, the frickin' con- Tractor that did it. Like, look. Look, this- This is all the frickin' contractor's fault. Right here. Everything you're seeing is the contractor's fault. And what's this? Let's look at it. It's too dark to make out what it is. It seems to be lodged in the elevator mechanism. Let's take it out. It's stuck between two components. Some lubricant might help. Oh my. Okay, apparently we got some butter. Let's put the butter. Okay, we smeared butter all around the components and the object. Alright, take it out. Yeah, smooth like butter. Some kind of old fashioned bladed weapon. Are these blood stains? Well, they pro probably, but we're gonna we're gonna go back outside here. Well, apparently we can't go back in there. Fence access from the elevator shaft when the elevator is functioning. So apparently the elevator's functioning again, which means we fixed it and the Adam guy didn't do his job. I'm gonna chop him up with a machete. I found this lodged in the elevator mechanism. Whoa, that's a big knife. It's called a machete. There's blood all over it. Now, don't go leaping to conclusions. There are any number of things it could be other than blood. I'm going to look for the others. Coming? Uh, no. I'll wait here. Fine. Uh, you got a point. It could have some ketchup on it, some, uh, strawberry jello. Cherry pudding. Uh, let's, let's go to the op stack. Let's see if, uh, anybody's in here. Dr. Somerset. Is the left operational again? Oh, I, it looks like I went to the right place, so... After some persuasion... What's going on? The captain appears to have gone missing. What? Nobody's seen him since yesterday evening. We're all attempting to scan the ship's interior when the power went out. The escape pods are still here, so he must be on board somewhere. Weird thing is, I can't isolate the cause of the power outage. I tried to send a commu communication to High Command, but for some reason, it won't send. Since you're here, could you start searching the ship? See if you could find Adam, so he can get the engines back on. He's sulking in the canteen. He's acting odd, like he doesn't care about what's going on. Confidentially, I think he's afraid of something. Well, that's your territory, not mine. Keep in touch. Sure. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go and find the Capitan. So, we can do this. Uh, let's, let's go to communal deck, communal deck. Let's, let's see if the doc, the mighty doctor has, a uh, seen our captain. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Ah, uh, William? John? <laughs> uh... There's some kind of problem with the chi with the ship. <laughs> what kind of problem? Some sort of power outage, and the engines are down. How odd. I did wonder why no one had gotten in touch. How did you even get down here when the lifts were down? 
The lifts were down? <laughs> I'm afraid I've been here since last night. What? I suppose I just lost track of time. Don't worry. I'll get some sleep soon. I should hope so. Like, really, you should definitely get some sleep. Pulling all-nighters is not a good thing, I know, because I do it more often than, I'm, than I have to admit, but... Have you seen the captain? Cause not since yesterday, I'm afraid. Is he missing? Apparently. Well, he's a grown man. I'm sure he's entitled to a little privacy. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Well, apparently he's not here. And I, unless he's in my office or the games room. Okay, yeah, he's not in there. So, unless he's in the games room, it means he's in the engine room. Uh, so let's go down here. There's a door right here. Let's, uh, check here. Alright, there appears, appears to be a spare bedroom of some sort. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a brig. It's a brig. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a brig. Cause I'm gonna be held there, yeah. yeah hold, me, hold me in the brig, baby. Oh. Well, apparently he's nowhere to be found. So... Let's go talk to Adam back in the residential quarter, see if I've got anything new to say to him, and then if not, then we'll go back uh, upstairs. Um, okay, the communicators aren't working. Any idea what could cause that? Well, if it's not because of the power outage, then it'd be a foreign object logged in the communications pylon on top of the ship. It's usually an asteroid or something. Can you repair it? Well, this is a specula all speculation, of course. Why don't you go outside and take a look for me? I'll give you the airlock pass. Why don't you come with me, too? Well, if it turns out to be nothing, well, we just waste both our times. Not to mention the oxygen tanks and the EVA suits. You're afraid of something, Adam. I beg your pardon. Never mind. Just, just. I'll, I don't. I don't like you. I hope you're the first one to die. Because I know people. Are there. there will be blood. There will be blood. Yes. Yes, there will be blood, for it's a horror mystery game that we are playing. And I'm guessing that the airlock would be down here, because I'm guessing it's not going to be next to those escape pods up on the, uh, ops deck, I think it was. Um... Well, let's use this special airlock pass on the airlock. There's a closet here, let's... Open that up. Ooh, it's a special suit. Let's, let's put on a special suit. Mmm, yes. Special suit. Special suit. Ooh. That's very creepy sounding. I forgot that because I wasn't using head. Didn't have a headset on when I was playing it, so all I could hear is the breathing, and it's very creepy. Doesn't look too safe out here. I better observe all safety precautions. Okay. So since it says it's not safe, let's go ahead and uh, I'll put down, um, you know, your normal save stuff. Uh, like a like a herp derp, and uh, I better not go on like this. It's unsafe. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Let's. <laughs> I'm being unsafe. Okay. Let's uh let's read the sign. Let's read the sign. For your own safety, please ensure that your suit is firmly clipped to the safety rail for b before proceeding. Okay. So, let's use the clip on the rail. Okay. I'm safely attached to the rail. Okay, now we can go down here. Come on. A little bit more. Okay. I'm guessing I can uh, I have to, uh, yeah, okay. 
Yes. You have to unclip yourself and then reclip yourself here. And I've just noticed because I was looking at this part of the screen, I didn't even notice the freaking uh, food coloring right there. So, uh, well, let's go up the stairs and see. Bridge to Lieutenant Ganesee. Uh, <laughs> Actually, this is John Serena. Dr. Somerset, you can't go on Eva. You're the counselor. Relax, I took standard Eva training with everyone else. Well, where's Lieutenant Gilkenny? Adam still doesn't want to move from the canteen. Something seems to have spooked him. This is most irregular. I'm just going to check out the radio masts and come right back, okay? Well, please be careful. Oh, I told you guys, I told you guys. There will be blood. It's not a mannequin. Uh, can you see what's clogging the radio masts? Dr. Somerset? Dr. Somerset, please respond. Please respond. I'm here. Tuesday! Tuesday. Well, I guess we have to do this before I can... Oh god. How? Someone stabbed him with his machete. He went outside to try to escape from his attacker. But the killer was very determined. This isn't happening. Who could have done this? It could have been anyone. Angelo was the last person to see him. I walked with him to the elevator after we examined the locker. The last I saw of him, he was heading for his quarters. Oh, yeah? We've only got your word for that. Please, we mustn't stoop to baseless accu accusations. I know that none of us are capable of this sort of evil. None of us had any reason to kill Barry. But there's no one else on the ship. It had to have been one of us. There's another thing. The locker is open. How is that relevant? You think the killer was hiding inside? Oh, please, Doctor. I know this is going to sound stupid, but I have a horrible feeling that something was in that box. Something that got out. That does sound stupid. Your argument is unscientific. But for now, if only for morale, I suggest that we proceed on the assumption that we have are all innocent. What? There could be a murderer among us right now, and we're supposed to ignore that? Until we get back in touch with High Command and start a thorough investigation? Oh, I've heard enough. Where are you going? I'm going to my quarters, and I don't want to be disturbed. Well, fine. Go, William, go! He knows something. I'm sure of it. Adam, please, save it. What are your orders, Commander? We have to get the communicators back online. Then someone will have to move Barry off the masts. And it sure as hell isn't going to be me. Lieutenant! It's okay. I'll do it. As you wish, Doctor. I'll get back to the bridge, then. Alrighty. I'm fairly acquainted with our crew. Commander? Please be careful. I will. Thank you. Well, we're going to have to remove Barry from the masts in the next episode. Like, what? Really? Can I save now? I, I, why couldn't I save in there? That makes no sense. I actually, I actually want to take a little break from, from my sesh, too. So, I want to put... Uh, The save down, and then I'm gonna say that this has been a prestigious honor to be with you yet again on day two of Seven Days of Skeptic. This is Okami Karis 23, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.